So we've been really nice and busy. Took uh, another couple of steps forward to release dates and obviously new arrivals. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Shamwari TV. We are at the Wildlife Rehab Center and we welcomed a bunch of new birds to our facility. A few new meerkats, yay! So we're so happy about that. So we've been really nice and busy. Took uh, another couple of steps forward to release dates and obviously new arrivals. So just a quick recap and an update on our two lovely elephants, Stella and Amara. They're still as naughty as ever, but they're loving life in the pre-release camp. They're doing exceptionally well. They're showing great signs of independence. They are not as curious when we go in to check water or drive through, which is amazing. So they are always on their own little mission, getting up to some interesting elephant havoc. So yeah, we're very happy with where they are in their rehab journey so far. As for our buffaloes, Petunia and her two friends, they have now been successfully walked into the pre-release camp. It went very well. They've been living in the pre-release camp for the last two months. Petunia can't be happier because she's been reunited with the warthogs and the sables. So her social elements are just all over the show. She's very happy with life. As for our two sables called Ntombi and Duchess, they have successfully been also moved into the pre-release camp. And they're pretty happy to be joined with their buffalo friends and also very happy with their newfound freedom. So throughout the day, we'll find the sables just grazing, going all on their own journey. And you can see all the animals are extremely comfortable with just having a massive area where they can roam around freely. A very tall, handsome young man called Gilbert the giraffe. He's still loving life in the pre-release camp. So we have noticed that he's actually starting to interact with some of the giraffes found on the reserve. So I think he's already getting a girlfriend or two closer to the fence online dating. And um, we're very, very happy to see that he is showing interest on, you know, the outside life, the giraffes on the reserve, which means that by the time he is physically old enough and large enough to release on the reserve, it will go very smooth. So we received a total of four new meerkats that came all the way from Cape Town. It's about a nine hour journey. It took us about seven days to integrate all the new meerkats to our three original females. It was really stressful. I had very little sleep, but all went well. The introduction went 100% successful. We have seven happy meerkats at this stage, all running around together, being very happy to be amongst their own kind. And yet again, we are just one step closer to their final release. So it is a massive privilege to stand on a total of seven meerkat individuals in our facility. As you all know, we need an entire established colony or mob of meerkats to release as a unit. So we have had some setbacks along the way. We've waited very long to have as much as we currently have. So we just can't be any happier with seven meerkats all doing very well. So we received five baby barn owls. And they're very small, so I have to feed them every four hours. They are still in intensive care. They are birds of prey, so we are currently feeding them as much proteins as we can get our hands on. Currently, we are feeding them chicken livers. So it's quite an interesting concept. You have to try and feed them without getting clawed in the process. Um, but they are pretty easy birds, um, lovely animals to raise, very interesting and unique birds. So after we've finished with the intensive care program, 
meaning when they're old enough to eat by themselves, we will place them in the aviary and there will be no longer, you know, human interaction with them whatsoever. We will go in, place the food on the trees and they will decide when they would like to eat their food. When they are ready, we will do a soft release. So eventually we just open the gate in their aviary and they decide when they would like to release themselves. Often we give it about a three week gap for them to come and go into rehab, out of rehab as they would like. We being the support station, providing them food if they need it. And then when they do not come back anymore, then we know they set out for a life of freedom. We also received five black-headed herons. They're still juveniles, so they still have to learn how to fly, which means that we will keep them in rehab until they've established how they can fly and also just gained a little bit more condition. So after they have completed their journey in the rehab center, we will release them out onto the reserve.